everyone, Trish here with Funberg, and I am with Brian at the Row House and the Beer Port for Harry Potter Film Festival. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So we are doing two weeks of Harry Potter uh, film and cultural celebrations. So we're showing all eight movies. We are doing all kinds of events like selling butterbeer. Tonight we have Leaky Cauldron Night, Three Broomsticks Nights coming up, trivia, games, TV, uh, mostly stuff for adults, but some stuff for family as well. Cool, and then what, how did you come up with this idea and make it into a two-week thing? So we originally received the Blu-ray set um, in the mail. Theo Ackerson, our um, general manager, did, and we all were really jealous of it. So um, we were joking that it would be fun to watch all eight all at once in the theater because we own a movie theater, so why not? And uh, one thing led to another, and next thing you know, we were doing a 24 hour movie marathon. Next thing you know, we're doing a week of movies. Next thing you know, we're doing two weeks of movies with all kinds of events. And just the excitement for ourselves to do this um, led it to be this big because we wanted it to be this big. Well, and are there people just on Pittsburgh here? Are people like traveling for this event? For the 24 hour marathon on Saturday, we had people flying from Portland. Um, from all across Pennsylvania on the east side of the state, um, a lot from Ohio, things like that. So um, a lot of Harry Potter fans uh, who are friends with each other got together to do this experience. We even had three ladies who got tattoos that matched in honor of the occasion. Awesome. Which is pretty radical. Cool. So is, this is going to be the first one or is there going to be like a yearly thing maybe? Or uh, Yeah, the reception has been fantastic. It was better than we hoped. So we're definitely going to do this again in, uh, next year, annual event. Cool. And then uh, what is the event that you're most excited for this week? Ooh. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I think it's Three Broom Six Night, which is on Wednesday. So it's like beer. It's it's the whole idea is to make it into a true uh, Harry Potter style pub, as if cool hipsters were opening a pub in Harry Potter world. So maybe if Neville, uh, when he gets older and you know decides to open up a pub, this would be it. And so I don't know, just the idea sounded fun, so we we rolled with it. And then you guys have all the decorations. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. How did you guys come up with that? And how long did it take you to transform into Hogwarts? Uh, I mean, we spent months preparing. Um, and then it took us two long, long nights with all the staff here to uh, put everything up. And especially the floating candles. That was a lot of work. But um, our vet coordinator, Molly Hibbert, she really yeah. led the effort to design all the little details that are here. So, I mean, the more you look at it, the more the details are right. <laughs> which is what makes me really proud. Oh, so after Harry Potter, we're doing, um, it's Women International Women's Day, and we wanted to honor the very few women who actually are directing movies in Hollywood, which is fantastic. And um, in, uh, more specifically in the horror genre, which is a very male-dominated genre. So uh, we're showing everything from Buffy the Vampire Slayer to uh, American Psycho um, and Babadook, uh, which is a fantastic film. Awesome. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add? Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you.